Okay, so uh, the first unit I want to talk about here is the pingable scaled random unit. Um, so this, uh, in a way, is kind of the least interesting of these units because um, you know this is pretty easy to build in the UI layer, um, and I've you know we've probably all done it dozens or hundreds of times, and that was kind of actually the reason for building it. Um, I just wanted to. Uh, you know, kind of have it all together as one unit so I don't have to keep uh, rebuilding it all the time. So just a quick demo here. Um, so I've got a little sequence um, with an aliasing saw fed into a low pass filter. Um, let me just let you hear the sequence before we go modify it. So pretty straightforward. And what we'll do here is uh, modulate the uh, filter fundamental frequency F0 um, using this unit. Um, so I'm gonna come down here and uh, into this chain, um, we'll insert the pingable scaled random. Um, so basically what this does is it just gives you um, a random output. Um, it's got some options here, um, but uh, in order to get it to change its random value, you need to fire um, a trigger into it. So I'm gonna fire the, uh, the same trigger here that I'm firing into the VCA, uh, which for me is coming off of the teletype. So we'll just use SCTR1. And let's see here, I've already got some gain uh, set up to about 440 on this. Um, so actually that should uh, start working right away. Um, let me turn the sequence back on. Um, so we've got a few controls in here. Um, and uh, tell you what, just for the moment, just to for kind of see this happening, let me uh, remove this and we'll put in um, just a fast clock here, so we'll do a BPM clock, and uh, let me turn the malt up a little bit, um, just so we get a fast signal, so we can really kind of monitor the output, what's going on here. Um, so you've got a couple controls. The first is um, scale. So you know, first you see we're kind of going from negative one to one. Um, if we bring the scale down, it's going to bring it in, you know, tighter and tighter. Um, so we've got that. Um, got an offset control here, um, so we can kind of shift this up or down. And then finally we've got this levels control over here. So um, by default this is not um, active. So what this is is um, a grid quantizer that's built into it. Um, so it's not doing anything right now, um, but if you focus press on the unit header, um, you've got a quantize output. It defaults to no. Um, you can turn this on and uh, let's bring the scale back up a little bit here. So let's just kind of restore these to defaults so you can see. Um, and we've got 12 levels right now. Um, so we can bring this down. Uh, to basically where you end up with uh, very, very little, right? Uh, right now we've just got kind of quantizing in a couple spots. But you can bring it up to quantize some more. Um, I guess the only other thing to note is that the... Uh, the scale and the offset um, come after the quantizer, so it's kind of a post operation. Um, anyway, that's all there is to that unit.